quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 46. Today I'll be stitching with my four-in-one machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! I'll begin by using a blue Mark Begone marker, my four-in-one machine quilting ruler, and a little bit of the Westerly Stable Tape on the back of my ruler. I'll start out and mark a straight T through the center of my block and also an X through the center of my block. Starting in the lower corner, I'll stitch point to point lines. So using the largest curve on my four in one machine quilting ruler, I'll stitch a curve from the outside of the block to the inside point. Once I reach that inside point, I'll adjust my machine quilting ruler and now I'll use the medium curve on my machine quilting ruler and stitch point to point from the center of the block to the outside. From the outside, I'll adjust my ruler and stitch a second curve to the inside. I'll repeat that same process, working my way all the way around the outside of the block. Just remember, as you're stitching any design with machine quilting rulers, you always want to hold your ruler a quarter of an inch away from where you want your thread to intersect. friends. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow!